Hello, welcome to Evans Mills Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be sharing with you one of our favorite uh, starch recipes. Uh, this is going to be our gra uh, gratin potatoes, uh, roasted garlic au gratin potatoes. Uh, you don't have to have the roasted garlic, but it's really good in there. We're going to start out by using a half pan. Uh, you can use any kind of similar size pan. Uh, we're going to start out by putting a little hand spray in there. Get that all greased up. And then we're going to start, we're going to slice our potatoes thin. We're going to start out with about four baker potatoes. Um, we've also got two and a half cups of heavy cream. We've got two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. A couple tablespoons of roasted garlic. And then salt and pepper. And that's all there is to it. Uh, we're going to slice our potatoes by hand really nice and thin. If you have a mandolin or a uh, slicing attachment for a food processor, that'll work as well. And just slice them as thin as you can. They don't have to be paper thin. Okay. You can also do this recipe with a uh, with some uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. Uh, we also do it with uh, sweet potatoes. The only uh, thing to mention on the sweet potatoes, you want to use uh, probably about 25% less uh, heavy cream. Uh, there's quite a bit more uh, moisture in a sweet potato, so it'll make them a little bit too wet if you do uh, the same amount of heavy cream. And what we're going to do is take our sliced potatoes and we're going to layer them in the pan and do what we call shingling, which is basically just overlapping them slightly and just continuing on. You can kind of see those. And then we'll do that all the way across the bottom of the pan. One potato, two potatoes. All right. Then we're going to do a little salt and pepper. I like to use fresh cracked pepper. Roasted garlic, we've got our two tablespoons of that. And with the garlic, the cream, and the Parmesan cheese, you're gonna need, we're gonna end up doing four potatoes, about four layers, so you'll use about 25% for each layer. Uh, we've got our Parmesan cheese, just enough to cover it up. And this recipe is pretty forgiving if you use a little more cream or a little less cheese or a little. Uh, one way or the other, it's not going to make a too big of a difference. And you may find after you do this recipe that you like your potatoes a little creamier, a little more wet, or uh, you may like them a little more dry. Uh, but basically, we've got those covered up. And, uh, and then we're going to continue that with each layer. And uh, we're at four potatoes, so we're going to do that about four times. You're going to finish them up like that, and then you're going to cover it with foil. Put them in the oven, do it about 325, 350 if you're in a hurry. Uh, for about an hour and a half uh, minimum, start checking them after that, uh, or at least until they're done. You're going to start checking them with a knife. You can kind of poke into them and see what's going on in there. Uh, once you get them done, then I usually uncover them, put them back in the oven 15, 20 minutes, just to brown that top up. And we've got a pan for you, so you can see that. Beautiful potatoes, all gratin. And uh, we hope you enjoy those. Thanks a lot.